Now tonight's big local story, it's called Vibrio vulnificus, but most of us know it as a flesh-eating bacteria. So far, three cases of the potentially deadly disease have been reported in this state, <coughs> excuse me, in the state, including... <clears throat> Sorry about that. Including a Mississippi man who lost an arm from the infection. Now, the Department of Wildlife and Fisheries is warning people to be extra cautious when in or around seawater. WDSU reporter Andy Cunningham is live now with more on the warning and the new study showing it's now being found in tar balls like this one along beaches of the Gulf Coast. Andy? Scott, this is peak season, if you will, for most bacteria found in the water. In the case of Vibrio vulnificus, the warmer sea temperatures make the conditions prime for development. Already this summer, a man fishing south of Cat Island contracted the bacteria and had to have his right arm amputated. I knew I was getting sick, but I didn't know what the problem was. One of three cases reported in the state this year, Vibrio vinificus is a flesh-eating bacteria that enters the bloodstream, allowing it to spread quickly. Usually the people that have problem with Vibrio vinificus have some problem with their immune system. Louisiana's state epidemiologist Dr. Raul Retard said, Healthy or not, infections as a whole are rare, but a severe case can be deadly for anyone. They were very healthy and they'll get a very severe infection and it goes very fast. And that's what we, you call sometimes the flesh-eating bacteria. Found almost exclusively in salt water, about a dozen cases were reported in the months following Hurricane Katrina. The problem with Katrina is that you had a lot of people that had uh, immune problems, they, they, they were in chemotherapy, so they were stuck in the city and the seawater came. A recent study published by an Auburn University researcher revealed tar balls still washing up on beaches along the Gulf Coast following the 2010 oil spill test positive for the bacteria, but Dr. Retard said that's not surprising. These vibrios of uh, vulnificus have been in the seawater Forever. According to the CDC, cases involving the consumption of raw seafood are even more rare. You are more likely to have complications from far more common flesh eating bacterium like strep and MRSA. Again, coming in contact with a fresh eating bacteria, excuse me, flesh eating bacteria in any body of water is extremely rare, and doctors say people with pre existing medical conditions are 80 times more likely to develop complications compared to a healthy person. In the past two years, 23 cases have been reported in Louisiana. Just two, Scott, were deadly. All right, Andy, thanks. Meanwhile, doctors recommend fishermen in saltwater carry basic disinfectant with them. That also applies to anyone with open cuts. And should you experience swelling or pain around the wound, immediately seek medical attention.